Hello, hello. And welcome to a wonderful Friday evening in the middle of December with me sitting here in the middle of Canada. Um, yeah, that's that's all I got. I don't know where I was going with that. Hello. It is yet another yet another live stream with me. I'm Zara. Welcome to uh, to this and everyone watching the stream. If ever if you're watching the VOD, if you're watching on YouTube, welcome. Crave destruction property. Well, there's probably going to be lots of that. Um, I looked it up and I think I have three more missions left. Um, I didn't. It was actually really hard to find a like list of missions or like an actual walkthrough of this game because it's still fairly new and early access. So I don't know for sure. I think there's three more levels. Uh, I don't know anything about them. I haven't. I didn't look ahead or you know spoil myself on anything. So I, I don't know what they entail. But I think there's at least like two or three more missions. It should be fun. I. I adore this game. I have been struggling not to play this off stream because I just want to play more. It's so much fun. I can't can't recommend it enough. And it's still in early access. I don't know what more they could possibly add, but it's it's already fantastic. Very good, very good early access game, if I may say so myself. I also finished editing the fourth um, Pulsar highlight video, which I'm super excited for. I just got to make up a, a thumbnail and upload it to the tubes. Probably do that right after. 
I'm excited. There's a great big cliffhanger in that one. And uh, I'm pretty happy with the way it turned out. I also used some music. Okay. I, I used some music from the SNES version of King of Dragons. And let me tell you, that game has occupied a space in my head for many, many years. Me and my brother used to play that. Like, we would rent it as a video game from the store. We'd come home and we would play it, like, all weekend. And I think we even beat it once. It's not an easy game. But we both loved that game. It was so much fun. And that that sound effect of the guys jumping in from, like, the, your characters jumping in from off screen or getting, like, a power up and going, oh, oh, oh. That sound is burned into the back of my brain. And every time I listen to like the music or the sound effects from that game, I hear that all the time. That's a good game. People should play that game too, because it's also it's also extremely, extremely good. Lots of fun. Oh, hold on. I forgot this game capture doesn't work properly. I have to capture it directly. There we go. But this this ain't this is no King of Dragons. We're the, the king of property destruction. No TVs. So we're almost done with our car restoration here. We stripped all the paint off. Looks like we got all the parts in place now. That'll buff right out. Uh, let's see. Ugh. Got a blender. Our, our bedroom is looking pretty, pretty swanky. Got a nice, nice desk with a view. Nice bed. Ugh. I think I think last time we also uh, yeah we completed our harvest and packed it into crates and it seems that it has been shipped off now. Uh, we we did not get any new tools. We still have. Bombs and rockets. We got lo the rocket launcher. That'll buff out too. Uh, we just now, for a reward for completing missions, we get money, which we can use to upgrade our tools. Uh, as you can see, I have like three grand to spend. So <laughs> let's uh, let's go do that because there's a few upgrades I have not purchased yet. Might as well upgrade the rocket launcher. Um, I'll do the pipe bombs too. Fully upgrade our planks. And I guess all that's left is the gun, which I almost never use. All right. I think that's, yeah, that's, everything is almost fully upgraded now. So last time we did a few more missions. Uh, we did the speed deal, which requires you to race around the racetrack, which is pretty fun. Uh, we did the wet affair, which involved uh, collecting safes that have a moisture detection on them while it is raining. So you have to like, that one was, that one's probably one of my favorite missions so far because you have to like throw them onto the back of a truck and then use planks or something to like build a shelter for them so that you can drive them elsewhere. That one was a lot of fun. Uh, what else did we do? We went back to the m marina. No. Uh, yeah, power outage was also a, a fun one. Where we uh, we blew up the we blew up the dam with a huge bomb and got some good use out of the rocket launcher and I think we did the marina as well 
Did we do that one? I can't remember. I think we might have did, did the Marina, the art return. Um, in which you don't really have to destroy anything, but you have to prevent the fire alarm from going off while it is like raining with thunder and lightning and lightning keeps striking stuff. It, it was cool. It was fun. Or no, and then we also did Blue Tide Computers on uh, this new map on Hollow Rock Island. So now we are up to Motivational Reminder. So we've got to destroy the propane tanks to demonstrate the true value of proper insurance on this map. This one might get a little weird. Because Hollow Rock Island is a very big map. Very large, very spread out. Well, I guess it's not a huge map. Some of the other maps are actually like horizontally bigger, but Hollow Rock Island is also very vertical. An air purifier. Okay. I'll take that. This map also has a lot of unbreakable walls, like these cliff sides here. You can't break these, no matter what you do. But... This, this underground section here was not here the last time I played this map. It wasn't unlocked yet. So now we've got kind of a, a secret fish packing plant with one of the propane tanks here. So we've got five primary targets, three secondary. Blowing up a propane tank will trigger the alarm. So we've got eight targets to blow up within 60 seconds from various different places. That's not too, too bad. Most of the doors on this map are also locked. I know this one isn't. Come on. Come on, open up. Oh no, I think that one's locked on the outside. Hang on. Shotgun solves most problems. Okay. Looks like they're building another entrance there too. All right, so let's see here. Let's uh, break into this building. See where this propane tank is. Get a load of... Survey the situation. I think it's on the second level. Ah, there it is. Okay. So all the propane tanks are held in place or at least they seem to be held in place with these brackets. I have already tested this. We can cut through these brackets and move the propane tanks, but they are very fragile and they will explode very, very easily. So we gotta be careful. So that's that one. There is another one out this way. Yeah, I'm thinking the same thing, because they, they're very large, so they're kind of hard to move as well. Like this one, yeah, like this one, I'm pretty sure I can just... Oh, 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 oh. Do not use a blowtorch that close to a propane tank in real life. That is a phenomenally bad idea. We want to carefully drag this over yonder. Yeah, so something like this. Kind of position it somewhere where it's easy access, and then I can blow it up from there. Either with the gun or the rocket launcher. Something like that. Uh, what else do we got? in there. 
60 seconds honestly feels like a lot for this. This thing also explodes. The chemical sludge cooking is also very volatile. So I wonder... I could probably bring it to like this wall and then blow a hole through. Same with this one. And then kind of from this central area I could just... Boom, boom. Looks like there's one at the top of the lighthouse too. I don't know if I've been up there yet. Oh, hold on, I have to paint this boat a little bit. If they're going to add anything into this game from early access, make it so that I can actually paint things with paintbrush. This game will be game of the year. Anything in the cupboards for me to take? No. Okay. No, hold on. Where is... Oh, it's up there. That's weird. Okay, that one's a tricky one. That one is a real tricky one. Although that's not that bad. I think a well-placed rocket just at the top of this tower should be enough to, to nail it. In fact, I can spray through walls. So uh, if I just kind of... A great big yellow target there. I should be able to just aim for that, and rocket will be able to make short work of it. Uh, it didn't really come through, but that's that's fine. It's basically like right there. In fact, I'm gonna do a quick save and uh, see what happens. Easy. There's a little bit of drop on the rocket launcher, so I gotta aim up a little bit, but if I basically aim where that yellow splotch is on the top deck, then I, I got it. Okay. Okay, well I'm gonna go to work on these other ones. I'm gonna open up holes and drag them over so I got easy access. Uh, I think we want to blow out this wall, probably. I guess I got to use a shotgun for that. Oh wait, there there are things in this room that explode if I am not careful with them. These chairs, get out of here. I think it might be this explodes if I drop it too hard. So we'll just kind of put it over there. Uh, microscope, be very gentle. And these things I don't care. Something so relaxing about just like the setup of these heists. I think probably the best decision that they made to make it so that 
it's not like you don't have a timer for the setup. Pretty much can take your time to do whatever you need to do, and then it's a rush to to execute everything, which I think is the best the best part. All about min maxing. Oh boy. I think if I put it down, it'll be okay. Yeah. Oh boy. Okay. I wanna save. Just in case this goes. It'll be very difficult to miss this target. But hey, I've done worse. Oh, that door is... That door usually is locked. But not in this case. So I got that one. That one is on the dock. wonder if I can shoot it from here. Does the gun have range? Oh, yeah. Nice and easy. So gun has range on that. Rocket launcher will dispose of the one in the top of the, the lighthouse. This one... It's pretty easy. I can just bomb this out. Bombs are extremely effective at uh, clearing. Let's get this thing free. Can I go ahead and just quick save? it in there with the rest of the rubble. Yeah, perfect. I don't know what those are supposed to be. Cans of fish, maybe? Okay, so from where it stands, I got that one. So I could start with this one and go bang, bang, Bang. Boom. That's four in a good few seconds. So that's half of them. None of the other missions have been nearly as difficult as the art heist and the, um, the insurance fraud. Those are unnaturally difficult missions. That kind of come out of nowhere. Okay. Okay, I have an idea for this one. I gotta open up this wall and hope nothing ex else explodes on me. Okay. This might be a bad idea, but I'm going to see what happens. Okay, definitely a bad idea. Ow. Okay. Okay, opening the wall here might be a little more difficult than I thought. These containers of gas will explode. think. Those might not. This definitely will. Okay. 
Oh, it's hooked up to it. Ah, okay. Well, let's free this thing. Gotta move it away from the wall so I can get in behind it. We can use a good old bomb right there. Just a little bit of precision destruction. And then I've got a nice clean shot at it right through there. I'm actually going to open this up just a bit more. Just to be safe. And I just need to drag this back into an accessible point. Right there should be good. And just to make it as obvious as possible, Nice big target on it. Kaboom. Okay. So that's one. We got one there, one there, and one. Ooh, that one's on the roof. And then our getaway vehicle is over there. Interesting. Should have lots of time. I'll worry about optimization later if I need to. I got lots of supplies. We're in pretty good shape as it is, so... I'll just kind of... Keep on trucking here. You know what I am going to do, though? Please, just get over this. I'm going to plank this. And this. Easy up and down. Um, now where is... Where is propane tank? Knock knock. Ah, there's propane tank. Now what's the easiest way to get a clean shot on this? If I was feeling very brave, I could use the crane to, like, lift it up somewhere. But I don't think that's really necessary. One of the things I've been thinking about doing in this game, and kind of for this level too, is setting up, like, a chain reaction of explosions. So, like, getting all of these little propane tanks in here. And basically just setting up a chain of them to all explode and hit the a necessary target. I don't think it's necessary at all, but it'd be fun. Um, okay, let's see. If I bring this out here... Or even through there. I could put it right up on that little ledge. I'd have to drag it quite a ways, but I can do that. That's a no problemo. Uh, I'll use a bomb to blow up these fish. Oh, 
Nope. Oh, that's, uh... Hmm. Okay, that might be a problem. Can't get it through here, because this is... unbreakable. Let's see if I can get up, get it up that ledge just manually. I think I might be able to. It's not... It's surprisingly not that heavy compared to some of the other things I've lifted around. Come on. Come on. Ugh. Yeah, that was easy. Just need to drag this highly volatile propane tank across the ground and uh, set it up somewhere where it's easy to shoot. Nice and gentle. Nice and gentle. You know what? I can probably even just... Careful. Set it up right there. A nice, big, glowing target. Hmm. You know what? <laughs> now I'm getting the crazy thought of, what if I just dragged all of these into one big pile and blew them all up at once? Wouldn't that be cool? Highly unnecessary, but cool. Yeah, whatever. I'll leave them where they are. I don't want to overthink it. Okay, so we got one more that's down there. That one might actually be tricky. Is that one is definitely tricky. Although, do we have any boats? We sure do. This is where it gets wild. Get all this crap out of the way. Yeah. All of it. Put all of your towel carts into the into the water. Blue tide, more like blue cried. Extremely worried for a second there. That I was about to become fried. It's all good. We're just gonna move this right to the edge. And I'll be right back with a bit of a helping hand, let's say. Oh, that door's locked. All right, fine. Fine, I'll go around. Use my stupid little ramp again. Yep. 
yeah, this map is has got a lot of ups and downs and like inaccessible areas from other levels. It's cool. I like it. Oh yeah, I, I suspect that this game is going to get crazy with like speed runs and, and stuff. Oh, that's another boat there. That's a much easier boat. Oh, that's my getaway boat. What am I thinking? Oh dear. I have made a mistake. Got a little bit of a hole in our the back of our boat, but it's it's no big deal. It is no big deal. Don't worry about it. Um, they, they will, to a point, they will still be functional for quite some time. I was curious to see if that would explode. But the answer is no. So they, they kind of do sink if they lose enough integrity. Um, I honestly think they will kind of start to sink before they're actually undrivable, but you can still kind of move them. Once they become undrivable, then yeah, they're basically just done. Find the dock. We're all good. Please do not roll off. Yeah, it's there's not that much water getting into ours, so it's you know it's all good. Still in very these the boats in this game can take a beating before they actually are done. Getting extremely nervous about this. fine. Just a little bit of extra damage. It's all good. The ship is still in tip-top shape. It won't be for long, but it, it's, it's still good. I wonder if I can stand that up. Yeah, there we go. So I can pretty much stand here and get one, two, three, four, five, five of them. And then there's, wait, one, two, three, four, five, six of them here. Okay, so that's a pretty good little sniping spot right there. Just kind of move this stuff out of the way. So I can get a nice clean shot on that one. So I think that's going to be my sniping spot right there. 
because I can hit a whole bunch of them from safe range. The only exception is that one around the corner there. I guess I could have picked that one up on the boat too. Or... I could just drag it around. I have a bit of a wild idea. Careful. Do a quick save here. Gonna have to thread the needle a little bit. Please stop. Stop swinging. It's okay. It's like a, it's like a 20 point turn. Our vehicle is still in perfect condition though. Very high tension. This is definitely the most narrow place I have ever driven one of these things. I am losing integrity on this this left side at every moment. But it all worked out. Cause that oh, come on. Excuse me. That is seven propane canisters from one sniping location. Boom, 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 boom. And now for the piece de resistance. Going back to the big house on the hill. Gotta get to the roof. I don't even know if there's a way up to the roof. Uh, not really. I kind of, kind of got to build my own way up there. Well. Nothing to it but to do it, I guess. So, yeah, I could just drag this right over here. That's pretty easy.
Yeah. I should have plenty of time to get to my getaway boat. Unless for some reason they cut down the escape time to like 30 seconds, in which case I might be in trouble. Uh, now, let's see. Does this gun even reach that far? No. Which means I'm going to have to rocket that one. I gotta get the time, the aiming just right. Nope. There we go. Okay. I got it. Okay, so I got a rocket launcher that one and that one. The rest I should be able to hit. I might have to rocket that one too, but I don't know. I think we're in pretty good shape. Pretty much just below the bottom of the crosshair, yeah. Alright. One, two, three, four, what? Five, six, seven, Hey, 30 seconds to spare, more than enough time. little bit of back and forth because the range of the gun wasn't quite as as long as I thought it was but we got it done another kind of different mission that gives you a little bit of a different thing to do oh hey we built a little gazebo here Shoddy construction. Look at this. Look at this. Should be ashamed of myself. Gotta get through here. me. Oh, that's a shell. Well, whatever. Hey. Looks like we got the car painted. We're just putting in the, the new seats. I'm sure it's fine. Um, hey, we didn't get a cash reward. Not that we need it. We've already got all of the... All of the upgrades. Um, I want to see if there's anything new upstairs. Doesn't look like it. Got a nice mirror. Sorry. Nothing. Just don't make anything as good as they used to.
Anyway. I've been going through the blue tide computers and I think I'm onto something. This might actually be bigger than I first thought and goes way deeper than just Lee. Blue tide is controlled by someone called Mr. Amana Amanatides, but there are no official records on him, like he didn't exist. A lot of information is deleted from the computers, but I remember seeing satellite dishes on some of the buildings and got this idea to hack into them and download the communication data directly. I know I said before there wouldn't be any more favors, but this really is the last one. By the way, seems they didn't appreciate our last visit because Blue Tide just filed a security report for an armed guard helicopter. Be safe. Oh, that might be different. Download communication data from three satellite dishes and at least two communication terminals. The island is protected by an armed guard helicopter that arrives shortly after attacking the first target. Hmm. Well, that's different. It's a good thing I've got my rocket launcher. Okay, I, I need to see what the deal is with this. So we'll hack into that. So it doesn't seem like there's a timer, but there is an active antagonist. Oh, goodness. Into the blue type building. I don't know. All right, so that is not what I expected. I do want to see if I can actually destroy this thing, though. Need to get to a better vantage point for it. Come on, get me. Oh yeah, there you are. I don't think I can hit it. I definitely saw that rocket go right through it, so I can't... I can't kill it. I just have to escape. Or outrun it. So there are... Nine of these computers all over. Okay, so there's a computer there. Yeah, that would be too easy. I will give him credit for that. They haven't finished construction here yet. Okay, so there's one there. So these caves are actually a good hiding spot because it won't be able to get me in here. So I can use these to kind of traverse back and forth if I need to. So there's that one. There is a satellite dish. What else do we got here? Okay, there's a satellite dish on this building. So I actually need to be up here. 
I wonder if... If I destroy this... So, basically, if it trips the alarm, the helicopter comes. But I can still hack it if it's on the ground. Okay, good to know. Good to know. So there's that one down there. There is... So though I know where those two are. I gotta get that one up in the house. I'm guessing this is another satellite dish. Okay, that one's right there, so that one's pretty easy to get to. This building is not safe cover. But I can grab that and then make a mad dash through the house. Kind of dash through here. So this blue tag computer is right under me in here. So it might be best if I come out and then basically hop down here. Grab that. Then, uh... Can I... I can get through here, okay. So I could run through here, hop in a skip, uh, oh wait, that one, that dish is on the top of this building, isn't it? It's up there. Okay, okay. Engage stealth mode. Exactly. So... Let's say through this wall, maybe? shotgun. I should just bomb these out. Give me much nicer holes. Yeah, so I can hop through here. Then... Just hack it right through the wall there. Uh, then I can head back down through here. Head through these caves, which is safe. I'll remove this door. Hack that from there. The helicopter will probably be on that side of the map, so I shouldn't need to worry too much. So that's those four. That's those ones dealt with. Or, I wonder if I should do those in reverse order, because then I'd be coming back this way to my getaway vehicle. That might be the better idea. Uh, what else do we got here? So there's one in here. Everything in here is always on the second floor. Ah, oh, right there. Okay, that's easy.
that, 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 that. And, oh, the radio tower. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Hmm. How, how in God's name am I supposed to do this one? <laughs> I might be getting a little creative here. Attached. Come on. Oh, I think I think it went. And I think it worked. I think that may have actually worked. believe that actually worked. Okay, so I can get down here, hack this, then... <laughs> that is kind of the theme of this game, isn't it? come this way down here and hack this one so I think we're probably gonna start with this because this one is definitely gonna be the most exposed so grab that dive for cover grab that then probably this one Break this? Yeah. Okay. That's pretty easy. And then... So, yeah. So we'll come down here. We'll drop through. Hack that. Hack the planet. Run back up here. Maybe take a detour through there and through here. To the 
second floor. Well, it's away on that corner. Okay, so that thing will explode. The building will offer more protection this way. Yeah, I'll leave it. If one of the, the helicopter stray bullets hits that thing, though, I am totally dead. But we'll just assume that it won't. Okay, so I'll do a quick hop through here. Upstairs hack that one, then probably a quick little jaunt down to this one, hack that. Then we can come back through. Okay. So yeah, I think we will start with this one. Pack that. Pack this one. Go downstairs. Jump through. Basically run across into here. Grab that. Back upstairs. Through there into this building. Upstairs. Hack this. Down there. Hack that. This is the tricky part, though. So I think what I'll do... So I will hack this. Then come straight through here. Through here. I will go... into this building, use it as cover, to get through to this side. Use these containers as cover. Use the containers as cover, grab this, through here, this is safe, um, I'll have to go upstairs, here, no, that's not right, right, through here, up this way, grab this one, Then, okay, so there, 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 come back through, use everything as cover, grab that, grab that. So then I would come back through here. Use this as cover. Use all this as cover. Hack that one. And... Then I need a way up to that last one. So 
So this one might actually be best if I do it last. Now that I think about it. Because after I get this one, I am already on this upper level. So if I... Oh, nice. Nice cover right here. Okay, yeah, this is... This is nice and easy, because I can just hop right up here. Just zip. Under the trees. Into the house. Grab that. Back through the house. Down that way. So I could even just go... Let's hack that, come through here, and it's straight out this window. Just hop right through, hack that one, snake my way through this place, out front door, and away we go. Alright, in theory that's what is supposed to happen. see how it actually goes. You know what, I'm even going to use this as extra cover, just to be safe. Stairs, put the rest of our spray paint down so we know where we're going. That is still the wrong building. For some reason, this building is very confusing to me. Basically gonna jump right off of there. After having hacked this one. Uh, we'll probably come up this way to get it, so we will... very important in your heists to know exactly where you are headed. Okay, so this is going to head down the stairs. Straight out this way. Down there. some of this junk out of the way. I'll barricade the window with this couch. What? I was sliding away. So 
Let's get that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, who would who would really go through all the effort to set up this whole heist and then spray paint their way through it? I mean, me, I would. But uh It's not like the investigators will ever believe that. Jump down there, through there, through the buildings and out. That's gonna come through there, grab that. Come through here, grab that. Oh boy, these containers are awkward. It is not a clear, a clear run. So this is going to come up here. Through here. Around the machinery. Very volatile. Okay, so this is going to come through here. From this terminal. So I'm going to jump through there. So that'll lead to there. I'll pack that. Uh, the rest of the stuff is upstairs. So that's going to be that. That's after coming upstairs. Nice and obvious. The police will never know what hit them. here. I do, I am glad that you get infinite spray paint. I never really used it that much uh, in the earlier missions, but I, I kind of like plotting things out. It is, it's very easy to get turned around in the heat of the moment. Okay, so that's that one there. And then that is already spray painted, so that just has to come down there. All right, it's it's quite the uh, circuitous route, but we got yeah the, the car theft mission, the insurance fraud one in particular is it's really useful because a lot of that 
relies on you lining the cars up and then getting out before they and letting them just drift into the the recovery zone so it's it's very useful in basically making those straight lines for that okay the moment of truth Got one. Two. Hasn't shot at me yet. Oh, it's it's there. So it seems like it won't shoot at me. If it doesn't know where I am. That's interesting. It I mean it does kind of know. But if I'm in cover oh boy. I didn't expect that. Greenhouse is going to be bad. I'm exposed. That's cool. It'll shoot me through the windows if it sees me. And it'll, like, try to get to the windows so it can get a clear shot. Man. I am constantly surprised by this game. Like, that's, that's, that's surprisingly smart AI for a game that doesn't have enemies up until this point. Okay, through here. Upstairs. Grab this. Make a mad dash. That's everything. Just gotta make it to our boat and we're clear to go. Stealth mode, baby. Again, another mission that is breaking everything up changes changes the formula completely still kind of works the same way but makes you think in a different way which is amazing the game was already fun enough as it was but the fact that it keeps springing these kinds of missions on me as i go is just it's so nice Oh, hey, I'm a Midnighter now. Blender is good quality. We got a cash reward. 4,000 bucks. Uh, is there anything we have not... All right, that's everything. We have officially upgraded all of our tools. And I don't know if there are any new ones that we get from here on out. Sorry to contact you again. I was just going through the satellite data when I heard about the dam break at Lee. Huh. I've been waiting for an opportunity to get a hold of Lee's accounting. It's the last missing piece in my Lee investigation. He's kept it hidden in various places, but right now the whole place is flooded due to some accident at the power plant. Ugh. And he moved everything upstairs. The site is completely empty at the moment, so this is a golden opportunity to get a hold of those documents. He 
steal these bookkeeping documents for Parisa. Okay, we'll do that, but first I want to take a look around. The car is still not quite finished. <laughs> My absolute favorite thing to do in this game is to just never use doors. Especially in my home. My home base here. And to never use the same opening twice. Washing machine. Uh, not this stream, but the stream before, I found out that there is a secret in here. If you actually blow this thing up, you can go down into that tunnel and there is a, a secret worth a bunch of money. It's also very difficult to get out of that hole. My appetite for destruction has been quenched. Let's see. Oh boy. Well, we're we're back here at Lee Chemical. Um, things are looking a little different. Fired alarm boxes. This one might be a little tricky. Okay, we got alarm boxes. We got a lot of water. Got a lot of water. That's alarmed. I gotta... I gotta go this way. Uh-oh. It's all good. Uh, no, it is in here. Ah, oh, there's a boat in here. How... How did this boat get in here? How do we get this boat out of here? It's the real question. I have an idea. It involves this. <laughs> that worked a lot better than it had any right to. So that one I can pretty much put wherever I need to. This one is definitely... Oh, it's a little trickier. How many of these are there? It's eight again. This might be a tricky one. There might be more than three missions left. I don't even know. This doesn't feel like a a last mission just yet. To me, anyway. Oh, God. I'm 
down scaffolding. Okay, yeah, let's just, uh... We'll do what we usually do in this, this level. I'm guessing it's up there, yeah. Locked, of course. Wait. Whoa. Is it underwater? Well, I found some deposit bottles worth two bucks. Oh, I see. Okay. So that's up there. I really do love the way this game, like, it makes you revisit the same levels a lot. Like, this is, I don't even know how many times we've been back to this level. This is, like, the sixth or seventh time now. But every time you come back, it's never quite the same. this tower. Oh, this one is all busted. Fine. I'll plank. I guess I wouldn't even really need to plank up there. I could just grab it from here, couldn't I? Just Yoink. Down we go. Uh, where else? Of course, there's one there and one over here. Oh boy, this is a tough one. Okay, so we got a big boat there. Little boat. And... And this boat. So I'm thinking we might need that boat to get between like these three, or at least between this one and this one. Let's go see what the situation is first here. Falsified income records. So grab that. Then probably come through here into a, a boat. So I guess it might be worth doing these ones last.
the boat is going to have to get around over here. Is this... That is a truck. Theoretically, that is possible to drive this. I wouldn't... I don't think that would do me any good, though, because I can't get it anywhere. Yeah. No good. So maybe... Start here, grab this, hop in a boat, because they do kind of position these trees in a way that makes it hard to get in here quickly. Hop in a boat, grab that, drive over here, um, through up there, grab that, through there, down, maybe into another boat to cross that. Climb up the tower, yoink. And then hop over here, grab that. Grab that. Or grab that, that, that. Oh, this is, this is a tough one. So I think I could grab that one, jump over here, grab that. Uh, jump back through this way, grab that. That, drive the boat over here, hop out, grab that, and then onto my boat, and we're free. In theory. this actually attached to something? Not anymore. So I think this this little boat here will cover the gap between the power station and the watchtower. I can basically put that like right here and that would be fine. And then I gotta go and get that speedboat. I mean, if I really wanted to be, like, galaxy brain about this, I could probably start moving pieces like this around the water to make it easier to jump around. Actually, I might do that right here. Physics are... The physics of the water is a little bit... less than ideal, let's say. Trees. 
That was not a good sound. Not a sound you want to hear in your, your speedboat. Okay. So I'm just going to see... I could chain things together with planks and so that they won't drift apart. I might have to do that once I get into the, the complex area. But for here... I'm basically going to drive this like straight up into there. Because... yeah. Guess I'll be able to just come right through grab that. So yeah, that'll work. Okay, so that plan is good. I'm gonna make my way back over here just to... No, this is all... I can actually run across here. That's nice. take out all those windows so no matter where I end up around here I've got a clear way in I know I don't want that open in fact that door is off limits So I'm going to grab those documents out of the back of the truck. I'm going to zip over here in the speedboat, crash into the wall, hop up here, go yoink. That'll be open. Jump off here into this boat. Which will zoom over to this shoreline. Crash there. I'll hop out. Run up to here, grab that. In fact, I want to get rid of this. No oh god, help. There, that's easier. Run up here, grab that. Then... Straight out here. Now this is where it gets tricky. This is where I'm gonna have to start moving stuff, I think. Position that a little bit further out. Because I should be able to just plank in between these. Uh, yeah, so attach a plank from there to there, from there to here. Then that one is in the roof in that second area, so I need a couple crates over here. Okay, I'm gonna put you about 
up there. Come on. Uh, I can probably put it out, out a little bit further. Go there. This uh, could be a heavy plank mission. I'm thinking. Didn't break the crate. That's all that matters. Uh, I gotta pull some of this debris out. It's a little bit more violent than I, I wanted it to be. That is okay. Get it up here. Uh, or can I just go ahead? Put it right there. I'll grab that. Come through here. Go yoink. Uh, so now I gotta get across, which is easy. And just plank my way right through here. Don't even need these. Because my planks are just so long. Then up. This way, I think I'm gonna have to bomb this again. The bombs, the bombs are very potent. I have to admit. Okay, so this plank. I can put is this going to be a little weird right there so that's as long as it can be that's okay because I can put it right there and then this can come out here Yeah, I'm in. Come right through here, grab this, which will be sitting right in my way, so I don't miss it. Um, now. Now this is the part I don't like because it involves backtracking. I think Probably go like straight out here. And then into there, and then into that building. Please. 
there. Put this over here. And then... Plank right through here. All right, gotta just move all these chairs out of the way. on the second level. I don't remember where it is. Okay, it's right there. Oh, goodness. That was close. Just move those out of the way. Shelves, please, into the water. Plank is nice and easy, right across here. Boom, grab that. Then... I could basically run right across here, grab that. boat is not positioned in a very good location at all. It has very, very bad turning. Realistically, I could basically get here. If I come back out through here, and then boom, boom, I can go a little bit further. Grab that. Drive this boat right over here, under the under the assumption that I will be able to climb up the outside of it to get up here, and then grab this. This is this is gonna be tough. This is a lot to ask in a very short amount of time. Yeah, this definitely feels a lot like the painting one. I wholeheartedly agree. There is even less, even less things for, you know, you to, less resources for you to play with. Because everything is flooded, and you've only got like three boats on the map that you can actually pilot. Two of them are very slow.
still still not as bad as the insurance fraud, the car carjacking one. Because that one, the main problem with that one is that so much of it relied on just RNG. The one, the green car that is suspended three floors in the air, if that one doesn't land the way it, you need it to, then you're just kind of boned. Okay, let's see what happens, I guess. That didn't feel great, but I guess I'll take it. There's no way. There's no way. There's still so much ground to cover. My God. Ow. Oh, I missed it. I got... I guess I got all but two. All but two, and I... I legitimately do not know how to make this faster. that one? I did. Oh, I went out this way. Right. I was supposed to just cut straight through there and grab that. I don't know if that would help. I also feel like this boat is just as slow as, you know, if I make like a plank bridge across here, I feel like that would be just as fast as this, that boat. Oof. Okay, well let's... I kind of beefed it a bit on the this speed boat, so I'm going to reposition it a bit. make it easier to get to. There's three mandatory ones in the middle, the one in the truck, and the one in the tower. Yeah, there's three mandatory ones. So, I mean, I, I, I could definitely do this. I'm pretty sure I could do this without the optional ones. Maybe. They're all still pretty f spread out. I don't know. I'm going to give it a shot. We'll see what happens. Nope. I missed, messed up the jump. Spun around too fast. Oh, what? Okay. 
I can already tell this this is also going to be a problem. together. So slow. I got all but one. I think. plan it does yeah it's it's real slow i don't want to have to drag a whole bunch of boxes over there to build like a plank bridge but i might have to it just it is extremely slow it it feels like it's just got a slow acceleration and it's like okay now it's going to start picking up but then it it never does okay so how far can i make it with a jump from here to about there so about there is as far as I can make it. So I might have to... Hold up. Hmm. Well now, that changes everything. <laughs> from the tower to the transmission tower to the building with the optional file um no but if i can run around the back of the dam like that that saves i don't know if that saves any time or not but it saves me from having to go up those stairs which i think is worth it
make our way out here. Okay, so it's a little weird. Come up here. Yoink. It does it doesn't feel like it's saving any time by going this way. But that'll save me from that, so then all I have to do is in fact. Not really perfect, but you know, it'll work. So grab that, then out here. Might be worth making the entry easier into the building with the second file. You were, yeah, I was getting kind of hung up there. I might, uh, might deal with that. I don't know. Oh, goodness. I don't know how to make that any easier, though. I don't have... I don't have anything to plank onto. Well, I guess I could... Okay, let's, let's get a little creative here. Uh-oh. Another one down there. So that's my that's my boat landing zone. And then Probably shouldn't have bombed that. Nah. We'll see how it works. Grab that. This is if across here. Feels like a golden eye level. And then that one's above me, so I'll make a big yellow thing up there. So, I'll know that, yoink, it's up there. Then I don't have to slow down at all. I don't even have to stop. Just keep going forward. Grab that one. Which, again, I'm going to mark in yellow. And a yellow X. So, boom. Through here, up into here, grab that on my way through. Um, I don't want to go this way, so I'm going to I should, yeah, spray paint this to make it clear as to where I'm actually going. Uh, 
across here because this was a little bit faster. Boink. Call in the reinforcements. Oh. Thank you for the reinforcements, Jornker. Tear up. I'm not quite tearing up yet. I'm not at that level of frustration. I could definitely see it getting there in this level. <laughs> tear like tear up. Or <laughs> tear down. Tear up, tear down. For me it's all the same. Dropping a bunch of power lines into the water seems like it would be a bad idea. Recipe for a bad time. Hey. TV still works just fine. Okay, so we head through here. We grab this. And I guess the easiest would be to cut to this building. Cross. Grab this build a bridge over to here, grab that, and then out. I guess. I can... Oh, I can drive that truck, which means, yeah, I could just position that right over here. Yeah, that would save me so much time. I didn't think that you could actually run all the way back through here, but I've been doing it the whole time, so yeah, that'll save me a ton of time. Good call. I didn't even think of that. Um, I don't think... I don't think me planks are long enough to cross that that gap. So I'm going to need you to come with. Please don't fall. The strongest man in the world that can carry this crate while swimming. Ugh. Right there. So then I can plank from there to here. Boink. I'm actually going to clear this out a bit more. And... I would like... Oh, whoops. <laughs> Oopsie. What I would like to do is to get a plank up there. So then I grab that, and then I basically just come straight through. There. Build myself a little bridge. Then I can leap straight off of there, grab that. And yeah, I won't even bother trying to pilot the boat. I will just build a bridge with planks, because I got lots. Over here, right about there. This up to oop. Nope. Oh boy. <laughs> up to there. And I'll even put another plank right here just to make it a little easier on me. And then I'm not even gonna 
go inside. Just run here, grab that, and away we go. Okay. So it seems like I have a plan. All that's left is to position this truck closer to the rest of this stuff. Which means I will have to probably reverse it all the way down there. But hey, I've I've dri driven a truck and trailer before. I know what I'm doing. I will save. For real, though, driving a truck and trailer in real life is probably one of the scariest things I've ever done. <laughs> it is... It is terrifying. Gotta get her nice and straightened out. you doing? Okay. Straight back. I don't like driving box trucks either because I am I am the kind of driver that prefers being able to see everything around me or at least as much as possible and box box trucks make that very difficult. Um Wow, this trailer is just kind of doing whatever it wants, isn't it? go. There we go. Come on. Uh, I have driven in, like, a city environment with, like, a 40-foot flat deck trailer behind me. It's not fun. It is incredibly stressful. But I didn't hit anything. <laughs> or anyone. I'm going to save at this point, because I feel like I'm in a decent position right here. Whoa. Just jackknife the hell out of the trailer a little bit. That's all right. <laughs> Lousy trees. I probably could be making this a lot easier by just getting rid of the trees. But hey, I gotta I gotta prove my worth. I've never driven with a like box trailer like this before, and I would never want to because good lord. Knowing that like these drivers have to basically thread the needle into some of the loading docks for various warehouses is... That's not a good, good thought. Okay. So that's, that's a good thing. Plank. Not really anywhere to plank, is there? Okay, maybe we'll go a little closer. Oh. Almost set uh, set that one off. I 
do a little bit of improvising here. Something like that. I guess I could go through the trees. Let's see how that works. I got planks for days. that'll be long enough. Oh, just barely. I'll have to clear out just a little bit more, but yeah, that'll work. So, yoink. And then run across. Okay, so that will shave off a good few seconds at least. So I think I got this in the bag. But just to be sure, start here. Up here, grab that one. Then out the side, run all the way across the dam, grab that. Through here, yoink, yoink. Up through here, grab that. Through here, onto the roof. Off the roof, grab that, up there, grab, done. Okay. We good. Get myself in position. Quick save. And away we go. It does free up the fast boat, but all in all, I think this will save us just as much time. Uh, it's, uh, I've forgotten. What's that sound? What is that sound? I think it's an alarm, actually, but oh no. Hello, raiders. I am currently st stealing documents and oh yeah we're good wait I missed something I missed this one oh I'm dumb okay <laughs> my bad hello raiders how was alpha protocol In fact, Ooh, that was weird. I think, yeah, there we go. Give a quick little shout out. Um, oh, I'm glad Wordsy learned some things. We are back in the Lee Chemicals map. Uh, after the last stream, we caused a bit of an incident with the dam, and now the whole map is flooded. And we need to collect various documents in the flooded environment that are scattered all over the place. So last time I missed this one. I am dumb. So we're going to give this another shot. Which is funny because I explicitly marked those. I marked those ones out in yellow paint so that I wouldn't forget about them. And that is exactly what happened. They just blended right in. This way. Doing, doing better this time. I think this is... Good to go. I 
don't know if that registered or not, but we'll see. Oh, there's a valuable on the roof of that tower. I want it. Alright, kind of fell apart in the end a little bit, but... I cut it extremely close. Gotta get my calling card down there, though. I was trying to write D's. This is new. Please let me in. Ugh. Ugh. Please. How do I? How do I open this bridge? Do I need to get the vehicle there, or do I need to just get myself? I guess... I'm gonna make a run for it and see what happens. to the cafe. Anything in the register? No. Ow. bit of fire. Any sunglasses? Uh, no, nah, they're not really my style. Ow. Gotta be nice and polite when you're, you know, running from a armed helicopter. <laughs> boat two, boat harder. Somehow I was carrying all of those documents. Although that makes me want to play on that map now. I want to mess around and do missions on that map. That one looked fun. There's a fancy club. There's a whole map creator. Well, it's like unofficial, I think. Like the developer basically has a whole 
tutorial on how you can do it. And there are some... Um, there are some custom maps already built into the game, but none of them have, like, working physics is the problem. I haven't really looked into, like, the custom map scene very much. But the fact that the developer is very aware of that possibility and working, you know, with modders for it is extremely promising. God, this game has so much potential. It's so good. I've been thoroughly impressed with this game from start to finish. And it's such a small development team, too. part is being worked on a lot right now. Well, I'm excited. I can't wait to have more of this. I wouldn't be surprised if, like, the, the modding scene for this gets wild. Three-room sandbox play with unlimited resources and no challenge. Oh, but they don't give me that map. There are custom levels in the game, but none of them have working physics. But, I mean, it's only a matter of time before start pe people start making crazy stuff. Like, this castle is a really cool map. And I guess when I say that there's not working physics, I mean things like you can't... I don't think you can actually... Yeah, you can't, like, grab objects and move them around. Everything still breaks apart and has physics, but... The objects themselves, you can't, like, pick up chairs and throw them around. Everything is locked in place. Still breakable, though. Oh, there we go. Now I can throw this bowl. Ugh. Abolish all kings. Down with kings. I'll take this bed, though. Oh, treasure chest. Yeah, I do have a rocket launcher with me. Medieval invaders didn't expect this. Man, if this game gets multiplayer... If this game can get multiplayer, then I don't even know. I think this game wasn't in the Game Awards, probably because it's still in Early Access. I think once this is out of Early Access, I think it'll be nominated for some awards. Because I've, I've never seen anybody who has played this game not say that it is amazing. And if they're only adding more features, then I mean, it's a no-brainer. Also, we haven't really played with, like, the fire physics at all, because all of the, the maps punish you for, for having a fire breakout uncontrollably. But the fire physics are pretty neat. Oh, 
I'd still be unheld up by that wall. Ow. Oh dear. It is kind of everyone's dream game. I think I remember seeing posts from this developer when they first kind of figured out how to make like the the, the sand or the like the destructive voxel engine work and being really impressed with like the little tech demo video that they had. Ah. Whoa. <laughs> the fire jumped. And uh, then it kind of disappeared, went off the radar for a while, and then it reappeared as this. And it is... it's fantastic. Everyone should play Teardown. Support these developers. They're very good. I have to see what's down the well. Death. <laughs> Death is what is down, is what awaits me here. Help. Help. Please. The village is on fire. Did that not kill me? Ow. Jeez. That hurt a lot. how long I can survive and stealth at Hollow Rock Island level. That was one of the, the more fun levels. Oh, I, I'm a virtuoso and got another cash reward. 5,000 bucks. Owner and CEO Lawrence Lee Jr. was arrested for tax evasion. Finally. Thanks to good police work and strong community support. Yeah, sure. Thank you. Congratulations. You finished part one of Teardown. We are currently working on part two, and it will be released as a free update when ready. Thank you for playing through the game and participating in early access. We are eager to hear your feedback. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, head over to the official Discord server and reach out to us, or reach us out to us on Twitter. You can find links at the game's homepage, teardowngame.com. You can go back and replay some of the previous missions, try and complete more of the optional targets. If you haven't already, you can also try out sandbox mode, play with unlimited resources, or build your own level and create one. I have so much money, and nothing to do with it. I hope they add more tools, although at this point I don't know what more... What more could you ask for for tools? Like, I've got a rocket launcher. The only thing that I could really be like... A eh, chainsaw might be fun. I'll give you that. grappling hook. I know, like, remote bombs would be on my wish list, because that would make... Although that would trivialize a lot of the, the more difficult missions. They would be so useful. And our car is finally finished. We can finally drive it. After all this time, we've finally finished... We put so much, so much effort into restoring this car to the way it's it was always meant to be. It's just, it's perfect in every way. And I don't know 
what I would do if something were to happen to this car. I just, I, I don't know how I would handle it. Anyway. I do like to imagine that this person is just so dis such a destructive person just in in general that they finally finish their their vehicle that they've been working on for months and they just drive it into the river our bedroom i don't think our bedroom has changed for the last several missions but it's 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 fairly fancy we got our bed in here we got a mirror don't look at me got a nice little desk here with a view of our f crop field which is all empty now. Got a lamp. It's a shoddy lamp. Poor construction. Same with the bed. This blender, though, this blender is worth worth its weight in gold. Stand corrected. Yeah. Yes. No decoration. Ugh. Frustrum. Tiny village of Frustrum along the block. Lock Hill River featuring an upscale hotel, a nightclub, and a gas station. I do kind of want to explore this map a little bit more. Uh, turn the music down just a smudge more. How long can I survive here? Well, I want to get to that nightclub. This is... Oh. Oh. Oh, hold up. Nightclub. Just wait. Hang on. Gotta make, mix myself a drink. Hold on. Just give me a minute. Go. Okay. Put these. Grab this. Let's shake this one. No, you can't shoot the copter. Okay. I mix myself a drink. I'm gonna play around a pool. Can't have debris on the pool table. Just a minute. You can have your turn on the pool table in just a second. I don't know where the balls are. Maybe they're in the back. They're in the bathroom here. Nightclub, pretty subpar, if, if I had to say so myself. What's in here?
This helicopter is not very good at its job. I will say that. For a joy ride in the Lambo. It'll never take me alive. I got some good shots on me in that time. I think the longer it has like a beat on you, the more accurate it gets. So you've got a pretty good like like if you're out in the open, you've got a pretty good lead time for, you know, dodging bullets, but once it gets to a certain point, it's just like, okay, it's going to start hitting you now. You got to find cover. And if you don't, you're dead. Might be a hidden mission timer. Um, I don't think so. Because there was there was another mission that had a helicopter basically doing the same thing, and there was no timer for it. You just couldn't be out in the open for too long. I feel like that one was also more accurate. Yeah, I would love to see more levels with like active threats like security systems turrets even like guards and stuff it wouldn't i guess it would kind of go against the the spirit of the game having you outright like kill people that wouldn't be fun i mean it might be but yeah the the other stealth level definitely has potential for challenges i mean i was having fun just basically building a path through the level with as much cover as possible. It's different than, you know, the usual thing where you're just building, you know, kind of a path from A to B as efficiently as possible. Oh, it's a good game. I can't wait to see more. I will almost certainly be streaming more of that once it comes out but that's it for now i don't know what the status of the update is hopefully it's it's not too much longer but yeah get uh get teardown play teardown have fun with teardown it's an extremely good game Anyway, um, that is going to be it for me today. I'm, I'm done tonight. I will be back Sunday. Uh, I'm going to be continuing my Hollow Knight playthrough. Not Hollow Knight. I'm done with Hollow Knight. Get out of here. Get out of my head. I'm done with you. Uh, Shovel Knight. That's the one. I'll be continuing my Shovel Knight playthrough. Um, I think I got kind of halfway through it last time, so we'll see. We'll see where we end up. But Sunday afternoon, 2 o'clock PST, I'll be doing that. And um, as for the rest of the weekend, I'm not doing anything tomorrow, but there is a big um, charity stream going on on uh, Jenny VTuber's channel. I think we'll rate her today. Because she is currently playing Bioshock, which is always fun. Um, and a bunch of the people that you have listed here, a bunch of my friends, are going to be involved in that stream tomorrow. So come check it out. You know, throw throw some money at charity. It's all it's all appreciated. Um, and then I'll probably be back. Um, doing Shovel Knight Sunday, and then it sounds like Monday is also going to be something interesting happening. Something fun, something new. 
with uh, me, me and Wardsy. Collaborative effort. And then I'll probably post my my schedule on Twitter with all the rest of the stuff from there. Um, I'd also like to kind of throw out a, a side shout out to not anyone that I know, but there is there is this thing going on every Friday. Uh, a bunch of streamers, and like I mean a bunch of streamers. There's like more than a hundred people involved in this get together and they do there's a show going called Callus Row. It is super amazing. It is one of it's it's basically like a free form role playing thing where everyone is playing different characters and it's all takes place within VR chat. It's like custom maps, custom models, it's all made for Callus Row. And it's amazing. You can go to their website, um, I believe it's just callusrobe.com. Uh, let me throw a quick link here. They are currently live right now. If you actually go to the, the live section on that website, it has a live tracker that shows where all of the characters are on the maps and you can follow them, see what they're up to. You can switch between everyone's streams, everyone's streaming, not everyone, but a lot of people are streaming like real time. And it's all just like freeform role play. All the stories are made between everyone. It's, it's crazy. It's one of the most like ambitious streaming and role playing projects I've ever seen. And I, I want more people to see it because I am ridiculously impressed with it. So go check it out. There's literally hundred, like more than a hundred people involved with it. All kinds of streamers from all over Twitch, big name, smaller. I think most of them are like partners or uh, at least like affiliates and whatnot, but there's, there's lots to see and do. There's all kinds of characters from <laughs> big to small. There's magic. There's, there's crazy plot lines. So please check it out. It's amazing. I'm going to raid Jenny VTuber. Like I said, she's got a big stream going on tomorrow. So please check that out. But in the meantime, she's playing Bioshock. Um, check out Callus Row if you're interested. I think it's super neat every Friday. And uh, yeah, I'll be back another time. So thank you for watching. And thank you for joining me. And I will see you next time. Good night.